Today is the third Sunday of Ordinary Time, Cycle B. When God called Noah to preach to the people of Nineveh, he refused and traveled in the opposite direction. Why? Nineveh was the capital of Assyria. The Assyrians had totally destroyed the northern kingdom of Israel and exiled most of the Jews and then repopulated it with foreigners. God had told Jonah that if the people of Nineveh failed to repent, the city would be destroyed as he had done with Sodom and Gomorrah. Therefore, Jonah Jew refused to warn them. While Jonah was traveling in the opposite direction, a storm rose up. And eventually, Jonah asked to be thrown overboard. And he was taken by a fish and spewed up on the shores of Nineveh. Jonah was ordered again to go and preach to the people of Nineveh. He was obedient, and he spent three days walking through the city, calling on the people to repent. But in his heart, he was hoping that they would not repent, they would not listen to him and to God, and they would be destroyed. To Jonah's surprise, the king and the people repented and fasted with sackcloth and ashes. And God spared the city. The story ends with Jonah sitting outside the city, still hoping for God to rain down fire and burn it. Sometime God calls us to do good for those who we dislike, to forgive and to love our enemies. Our refusal is because often we fail to understand the depths of his love and mercy, which we are called to imitate. Do not immediately reject God's call to do something we dislike or to do good for those we feel undeserving. We have to struggle with it while speaking to God in prayer. You know, although Jesus was a great miracle worker, True man, true God, he recognized that he could not build his kingdom on earth, a society of peace and justice, by himself. In today's gospel, he began to choose from his disciples those 12 who you would call apostles. Peter and Andrew, and then James and John to help him in his mission. Mark the evangelist stresses the urgency of a response to God. Those who were called immediately stop what they were doing and follow Jesus. Another theme in Mark's gospel is the messianic secret. Everyone seems to know who God is, even the demons. But Jesus warns them not to tell anyone in the hope that the reader would come to recognize who Jesus is, the Son of God. According to the website, God questions, the word apostle means one who is sent out. In the New Testament, there are two primary usages of the word apostle. 
The first is specifically referring to the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ. The second is in generically referring to other individuals who are sent out to be messengers, ambassadors of Jesus Christ. In our baptism, we are anointed priests, prophets, and kings. Priestly ministry is to thank God and pray for others. In our prophetic ministry, we are called to preach the word of God. And our kingly ministry is not to lord it over others, to be the servant king. How do you rate your response to a call from God to help others, especially the poor and the needy? Do I respond immediately? Or my answer may, I know I have to do this, but I need more time. Or I have to think about it. However, it may not be convenient for me. Or my schedule is so busy, I do not have time for a God who is demanding. He, can, he will need to get someone else to do it. However, Hebrew 3, 15 says, If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. To harden your heart means to disobey God by rebellion to his teachings. God is our creator who has given us free will, which is essential for someone to be able to love, but God also knows the weaknesses in our human nature, and his teaching is that we may have life and have it to the fullest. Disobedience to his teachings leads in the long term to misery and unhappiness. If you are unhappy, and miserable, or simply there's no joy in your life, turn your whole life over to God. But you have to follow not just some, but all of his commandments. You will be amazed by the amount of peace, gladness, and joy that will fill your hearts. God loves you. God wants a relationship with you. God wants to help you. Please turn to him, honor him, and obey him.